Hello, I'm Kevin Ripa, and welcome to My Sans 3 Minutes Max. Yesterday, we started talking about what constitutes forensically sound, or the notion of forensically sound. And we talked about how things like cell phones, the acquisition itself, is not forensically sound. So let's talk about what, what makes a forensically sound image or acquisition. First of all, what we're doing needs to be consistent. Second of all, it needs to be repeatable. And third of all, it needs to be well documented. I'm going to throw a fourth one in there and say it needs to be defensible, and we're going to come back to that at the end. First of all, consistent. In other words, what I'm doing is the same thing that can be done across many, many storage media. Uh, I've got 10 hard drives. I am going to do the same thing with all 10, and whatever I'm doing is going to give me uh, the desired result. In other words, a forensic image that is hashed and verifiable. Uh, the next thing is I want repeatability. So it's got to be repeatable. It's got to be something where, for example, I have a, a hard drive I've removed from a computer and I've forensically imaged it and I got a certain output, a certain hash. Then I gave you the hard drive and you forensically imaged it. If you've done it in the same way that I've done it, we should get the same hash. In other words, whatever we're doing has the same result. It's repeatable. Anybody can do it following that same set of steps and they'll get that. Obviously with a cell phone, that's not possible because a cell phone that I take an image of now is going to be uh, different than the cell phone that you take an image of five minutes later, even though it's the same device. The next thing we need is to have whatever the process is be well documented. Now, that's in a perfect world. Uh, many people have done it. It's been consistent across many, many applications. Maybe it's been tested by NIST or whatever the case may be. If it's not well documented, then you need to document why you're doing it in the way that you're doing it. Let's face it, not all things happen the same way. And sometimes we've got to be creative when we've got to think outside the box. In those cases, make notes and be prepared to defend why you did what you did in the way you did it. If you have a good explanation, chances are it's going to be an acceptable uh, uh, explanation or piece of evidence to be introduced into court. I thank you for watching this episode of My Sans 3 Minutes Max. Join me tomorrow for another different, eloquent, wonderful, exciting topic. Until then, have a great day.